Ya. Good afternoon, yogis. This is Dennis. I'm Teresa. I'm the one with the microphone, babe. Start <laughs> okay. Normally she has the microphone, so good afternoon, yogis. We're in Waveland, Mississippi at beautiful Buccaneer State Park. And we're going to try and do a nice little maybe 30 to 40 minute vinyasa flow with some relaxation at the end. So we're going to start in easy pose and just sit here and relax. And a set an intention on why you have brought yourself to the mat today. And start to get into the breath. Be aware of your breathe, your breathing. And just relax. And start to blink open your eyes, relax. Let's move around the tabletop position. And we're gonna bring our palms back a little closer to our knees, tuck our toes if you can. If you can't, that's fine. And we're gonna do a few toe warm ups and wrist warm ups. And come forward and back. Go ahead and take your fingers and place them to the outside edges of your mat, but bring your wrists just a little closer together. We're going to go to the left, keeping your elbows straight. Don't go too far. And then to the right. And back to the left. And to the right. You can make some circles if you like, clockwise, a couple of them, and then reverse the direction. Okay, let's go back to tabletop position. We're going to widen our knees, the width of the mat, touch our big toes together and come down into a child's pose. Teresa will actually be posing this better than me because I have the microphone and I don't want it to get too loud. Really focus on your breath here. Breathe in through the belly. Feel the belly push down to the thighs and exhale, let the sit bones or your tailbone fall to the mat. A little deeper stretch, you can crawl your fingers out a little further. Focus on the breath. Ease your way back up in the tabletop. And we are going to push up for our first downward dog. Yeah, we can do cat cow first. That'd be nice. We're going to start with cat cow. And cow, you're going to inhale and push your belly to the mat. Open your heart. And exhale, round the spine, push away from the mat with your palms. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do three more of these.
Now just relax. Push up through the hips into our first downward dog. Keep your, knee, your knees just a little bent. Feel this first dog, how it feels in your body. Try to, try to make a straight line from your wrist to your hips. If you want to walk it out, you can walk it out a little. And breathe. Bend your knees slightly and walk forward to your hands, or you can hop like Teresa. And we're going to sit here at our first standing forward fold. Just let your head hang heavy, ragdoll it. Focusing on your breath. We're going to inhale and come halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Extend the spine. Exhale, forward fold. And we're going to tuck our chest down to our knees and roll all the way up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time into Tadasana. And look at the beautiful sky. What is this? We're gonna roll our arms around up above our heads, palms touching. Relax them to your heart in prayer. Ease forward all the way to the mat, forward fold. Halfway up, inhale, exhale, forward fold, inhale, all the way up above your head, hands together, reaching down to prayer. Forward fold. Kick your feet back into plank position. Sit here and get your plank steady, your hips, about the height of your shoulders, hands under your shoulders. Ease back, push back on our toes. Now lean forward, chaturanga halfway down. Exhale, push up. Inhale, exhale. All the way to the mat. Cobra pose, hands under your shoulders, extend your heart out, look left, forward, right, forward, push up into downward dog. Ease back into plank position. Halfway down, chaturanga. Exhale, push up. Inhale, all the way to the mat. Downward dog. Yes, kick your right leg to the sky into three legged dog. And hold it here. Take your right foot, bend your right knee, open, stack the hips. A nice little hip opener. Now ease your right foot back around and bring it all the way to the front of the mat. We're going to go into a crescent lunge. 
extending your arms towards the sky, the beautiful sky. We have such a beautiful contrast of the sky right now. There's a nice cool front coming in, a warm front behind us, and we're right in the middle. I'm gonna hold this. Make sure you can see your toes just to the inside of your knees. And breathe. Straighten your right leg and pick your left leg up a little closer. I'm gonna go into a triangle pose. Ease one down to the mat. Put your fingers on the ground or wherever it's gonna be comfortable for you. If your back heel is off of the mat, you need to bring your feet a little closer together. Come halfway up. Now, strong on your right foot, come all the way up into warrior two. Your drishti should be over your middle right finger facing forward. And we're going to go into reverse warrior, left arm to the left calf, raise your right arm, palms up. Breathe heavy into that right open chest. Back to warrior two. Reverse warrior again. I'm gonna chaturanga all the way to the mat. All the way down. Cobra or up facing dog. And then into downward dog. Feel how this dog feels a little more open, a little easier to stretch into. Bend your knees, walk, hop, skip, forward to the mat, into forward fold. Breathe in, come halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way to the sky. Palms touching. Exhale, palms to the heart. Let's bring it up to the sky again. Palms up to the sky. Then we're gonna forward fold all the way to the mat. That's right. Hands to the mat, kick your feet out to the back of the mat, chaturanga all the way down, cobra, child's pose, Ch child's pose. The tabletop. Up to downward facing dog. Kick your left leg in the air for a three legged dog. Bend that left knee, open stack the hips, and breathe into the left side of your ribs. Ease it back forward, bring your foot all the way to the front of the mat into crescent lunge, raise your arms to the sky, and look at that beautiful sky again. It's getting prettier as it goes. Into warrior two, your drishti, your gaze is over your middle finger on your left hand, facing to the front of your mat. Reverse warrior. And breathe. Back to warrior two. Reverse warrior again. 
and then roll it all the way down to the mat. Chaturanga, halfway down this time, fire back up. Now slowly, let's take a seven second count to go all the way down. Be sure the elbows rub the ribs. Five, three, two, one. Cobra, or up facing dog, and then push up into downward dog. Ease your knees down to the mat. And let's roll around onto our sit bones. <clears throat> Extend your feet out in front of you. A nice long seated forward fold. If you can only grab your shins, that's okay. If you can grab your feet, that's okay. The most important thing is do not hurt yourself and keep a tiny micro bend in your knees. Remember to breathe in this exercise. Feel the joints in the back opening up. Breathe in, open the chest the back part of your chest and exhale fall a little forward into the fold We're going to stay here for three more breaths. Ease your way back up into seated position. Now with a slow, strong, steady core we're going to put our hands out in front of us and ease all the way back to the mat. If you fall over, it's okay. Don't hurt your back. Engage the core and ease all the way down to the mat. And relax. Bring your knees up to your chest. Ease the feet back forward. Take your right foot and place it on top of your left knee. This is threading the needle, eye of the needle. Bring your hands behind your left thigh and pull that left calf towards your chest. Ease your legs back to the ground. Now the opposite foot, left foot over the right knee. Pick up the right leg. Ease your thigh towards your chest and breathe. Back to the ground. Pull both knees into your chest, reset the spine. Lean your knees over to the left side of your body. Extend your right arm out and your gaze towards the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. You could take your left arm, set it on your knee, or just relax and breathe. Face your gaze back forward. Die. Use your arms to bring your knees back up. Help take care of your back, your lower back. Ease your knees over to the right side. Your left arm out, your gaze to the left. Use your hands to help bring your knees back up. 
pull your knees into your chest, tuck them in. And then relax your legs all the way to the mat, Parshavasana. Just lay here in complete stillness and relax. Let your body melt into what we're laying on now is the sand. But wherever you're at, let your body melt into it. Your shoulders, your hips, your heels. And breathe, get back to your normal breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. And let's come back up into a seated position. Take this very mild workout with you for the rest of the evening. Kind of the reason we cut it a little bit short and didn't go as long or as strenuous is the gnats are really eating us up, aren't they? So we did forget the bug spray. But then again, all these creatures need to live amongst us, so we're just sharing our space. Thank you for joining us. The love and the light in me honors and respects the love and the light in you. Namaste. I'm really getting eaten up alive. So let's put some bug spray on. <laughs>